I've owned this Ferrari 360 for over 14 years now. It's been a fantastic car and one heck of a ride. For the majority of those years, as you can see from the state of it, it was actually used as my daily driver. And I've had some absolutely epic adventures with this one, loved every moment and had many smiles per miles. So let me just give you an example. So we're gonna go in the fast lane here. We're gonna drop it down two gears. Let's do three gears. So let's just drive and talk. It served me well over the years, and no, I am not about to sell this one. We are gonna do something different. We are gonna restore this and have it for another 14 years of fun. So over the next few videos, this car is gonna get the restoration. It's thoroughly earned. Here's the plan. Now, obviously, we're gonna be doing the exterior of the car. We've got a lot of work to do here. We've got to repaint the whole car. You can see the paint fade here. This was the uh, stripe. The stripe came off the car. Uh, we've done all the bumpers. Uh, they need to now be painted. Got a lot of work still to do on those. All the side skirts, the whole car, like I say, is gonna get painted. All of the carbon, all of that needs redoing. I'm gonna need some help with that. Same with the carbon here. We need a new rear screen. We've got problems there. At the rear here, you can see we've got quite a lot of work to do. The light's hanging out. There's some work to do on that rear lid. All of this rear grill, you can see, it looks like it's rusted, but it's just started to flake off there. This is a rear bumper that is replaced. It's a new one, it's a genuine one, but uh, the old one had to replace this because the exhaust got so hot, it actually burnt a hole in the rear uh, bumper, the old rear bumper. So we've replaced it, but all of this is currently finished in a rattle can of satin black so we've got to repaint the whole car we've got scuffs we've got dents around the car so the exterior is going to get a full transformation and there's one thing i need your help with and here's the question what do we do on the exterior on this car do we keep it black and original like this do we change the wheel color do we put a stripe back on it and do it properly underneath the clear coat or do we go far out and put it maybe purple orange let me know in the comments below what you would do with this one keep it original or have some fun with it. So we've got loads to do on the exterior of the car and it's the same story on the interior. All of this Alcantara has really started to fade. It's bobbled up. As you can see on the dashboard, we've got a major fade between the airbag and the dash. That's quite typical on a Ferrari 360 Challenge Rodale. Uh, steering wheel, well, you guys have always mentioned this one in the comments when I film from that angle. Then we've got all the carbon here, all of the uh, bare floor, no carpet, that all has to be redone. And uh, well, as you can see, there's no roof lining either. So full retrim here, same question. Do we keep it original with this kind of dark gray and red interior or do we change this at the same time? And then we got the biggest area of all, the money shot of the Ferrari, the engine, the heart of this beast, which when Ferrari launched the 360, they put this lovely glass rear screen in so you could see all this, this beautiful artwork, but unfortunately mine is no longer beautiful. If you look at these red covers, they've not only faded, but all the paint around the Ferrari logo has come off. All of the carbon, the carbon here, and especially these air boxes has really, really gone milky and faded. Look, that is just where it's gone milky under the lacquer. That is just not dirty. Then we've got things like the, uh, the coolant tank there. All the paints come off there. It's really, really bad. Same with that lower part. Exhaust system, that all needs to be cleaned up. It's actually good. There's no dents in it, but we do have these side covers here that make it look pretty. They've all uh, come off. The nuts and bolts in there have, uh, have broken. So we've got to fix all of that on the engine lid. Quite a lot of work, which you can't actually see in this light. I don't know if you can see that there. It looks like it's actually shattered, but it hasn't. We've got water on it, obviously, but uh, in sunlight, when that's completely dry, you can see this hazy effect here. And uh, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. We're gonna have to replace that Lexan rear screen. Uh, and then we got a bit of servicing to do on this one. So I've really got my work cut out on this 360 restoration. We've got exterior, interior, handling, braking, engine. 
So where do we start? We all lead such busy lives these days and can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch just because of a few drinks the night before. Well, Z-Biotics is the answer we've all been waiting for. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first generically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. So just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. I just tried Z-Biotics for the first time last weekend and I can honestly say there's no better way than to feel your best the morning after drinking than with Z-Biotics. I was still able to work on the cars, film and edit without any sluggish downtime that I would usually feel after a social occasion the night before. Vacations, weddings, birthdays, reunions or just catching up with your friends, there's always so much going on. Get the most out of your spring plans by stocking up on pre-alcohol now. So head on over to zbiotics.com slash or simply scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use code RATAROSSA at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter what the time or occasion. And Zbiotics is also backed up with a 100% money back guarantee so if you're unsatisfied for whatever reason they'll refund you no questions asked. So remember head on over to zbiotics.com slash RATAROSSA use code RATAROSSA at checkout for a 15% discount. Now I've got to say a massive thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's video and all of our good times. When it comes to upgrading your cars, every true petrol head knows you always start with an extra bit of power and performance. And in that sense, I have a trick up my sleeve. My good buddy Trev is an absolute genius at tuning these 360s. Let's see if we can improve this. when it comes to Ferrari 360s and pretty much every other Ferrari. I've known this man for about 15 years. We've been very good friends and uh, well, today he's gonna help me with this car. So this is my great friend Trev, otherwise known in the circles as 360 Trev, yeah? Or is it Trev 360? It's 360 Trev. 360 Trev, okay. Trev, uh, well, he was my inspiration. He's actually been on a video before when we did the challenge for Dali Spider. But he was my inspiration 15 years ago when I started to plan this. Now, I couldn't quite afford a challenge for Dali. And well, after looking at all of the online uh, chat forums, this guy's name popped up all the time. And he did something absolutely amazing with your 360. You had a, what was it, a 1999? Yes, a uh, mo Modena as well. Modena and... You did absolutely everything on it. You re-sprayed it, Rosso Scuderia. Yes. Uh, you still got the car, yeah? I still have it. How long have you had it's, your one? Oh, it's a long time now. So I've had this 14 years, right? Yes, longer than that. Uh, <laughs> and there's bits on this car that you helped me source. Do yes, you remember? I do, I do. Do you remember which Lots bit? Of things. I, maybe the, what was it now? That dash. Oh, that's right, the dash. That's a right-hand drive that's challenge to Dali really? dash, right? That is rare. We all trade, but you did something amazing with your car. So, first of all, you made it challenge for Dali spec, but then you went another level altogether. Yeah. So I did a quarter of a ton of weight reduction on my car, which uh, more than, way more than what happened on the Ferrari um, challenge to Dali road car. But um, I also took a lot of effort into detailed calibration you've got over 3,000 calibration points in a in a in an ecu of this vintage and this is old yes, school yes. very old school 3,000. yeah i mean I, I this is 25 years old no, technology old now right isn't now. it yeah i mean when ferrari went from the medina or moderna to the challenge ferrari calibration they did about 25 calibration maps yeah and um, i do over, over 60. wow yeah so I, but i've taken it much i mean i've put a lot more actual time in to refine it now i mean i'll give you an example the standard car didn't have the air compress uh, air conditioning compressor turned off at wide open throttle it's got the ability to do it but it was never done right um 
I calibrated that so that again you get a little bit more power if your aircon is actually turned on and you know and your on your wide open throttle as with any car mm. and any model of Ferrari there's always glitches yeah of there's course. lots of common issues yes and most of those you can sort out with a software oh, yeah. flash I mean, well well one of the things which I always found very interesting is the cat ECUs on these cars and in fact I think your car's got this problem we, right we have it very sporadic yeah <laughs> well, yeah we're gonna fix that very now. annoying so we're you can you can drive this car yeah. uh, and basically every now and again and sometimes it's more often than not we get the slow down light on mm. and where like sometimes you get the warning where it's just flashing it's warning you but yeah. sometimes when you get a steady slow down light it literally cuts half the bank that's right it does uh, uh, and it is so frustrating and, and i've had obviously i've had this car for 15 years i've had 360s 355s they all do it and mm. it is it's dangerous and there's never ever anything wrong with the car it is just a glitch <laughs> the yeah really, it's the yeah. system yeah. was designed yeah. very very badly they did change a little bit of the design on these and made them a little bit better well you know the, even even this design so this is a funny one but these are, are actually fitted the wrong way around so what happens is the resin cracks and water ingresses in there and then if you start damages the board it should have been flipped the other way around yeah because it would have acted like it's like a bathtub at the moment yeah. the design yeah they fitted them the wrong way around well you, you <laughs> know I, i've taken my <laughs> Uh, my side engine panels off but they've all got <laughs> holes in them yeah. so, so it all leaks through doesn't it <laughs> and then like you say you've yeah. got all of this heat soak here mm. so and look where they are they're right next to it and like we've got cats down here so well i do a full package of stability and reliability fixes for this car yeah i remove all of the things that are common faults and let's be honest as well uh, there are massive differences on an 04 05 model year car um software wise compared to say an early car like yeah. a 99 or an 01 so you really started with your own 360 did, but yeah. now you are the guru to everyone so for example people were doing manual swaps on a lot of uh, 360s 430s uh, scuderias stradales mm. you are the go-to because well, yeah. of the mapping That's what are we going to do today we are going to we'll do we'll do the full full monty on your car for trev to work his magic he needs access to the two ECUs the engine ECU so we've got one on this side we've got one on this side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove them and he's gonna wave his magic wand so before anything we're gonna cut the power to the battery this car is like the Millennium Falcon yeah it is just a hunk of junk but it's just a very fast very enjoyable hunk of junk that I happen to like so Trev is uh, just removing the other ECU now while he's doing that I've got to show you something else so we met when Trev was my inspiration for building this thing and uh, well he did his challenge to Dali and then I, as we said he went to another level and uh, went to a 360 on steroids done about 250 kilos off the standard car now this thing here is his latest uh, project it's a 12c again with some major weight saving he's got a GT3 kit all uh, all the bodywork we've got carbon discs all around carbon brake system you can see the uh, air vent at the back here he's got a Lexan screen to go in there in the car at the moment he has got the carbon door cards he's got this gigantic wing here currently this is about 120 kilos of weight saving do you know what I've got these on my Testarossa exactly the same must mean that I've got a, uh, a very cool car like this that is very surprising very light on the inside we have got p1 seats as i said that is carbon door cards to go on here beautiful beautiful trim on these i really love the way the uh, center console goes up there it's like a, a cockpit we've got an airbag delete that is cool never seen something like that before look at the carbon sills on this thing a couple more upgrades that trev's going to do on it we've got the carbon kind of wheel arches here to go on the car you've got these and um yeah i shouldn't look at things like this it just makes me want to um somehow buy one just uh, so you can tell this man is you know so well paid look waitrose bag yeah ecus oh look at this <laughs> beauty <laughs> they're the ones for my um are they for that trevor's got a, a very nice clean <laughs> ecu let's compare that to mine yeah it's a little bit different <laughs> <laughs> so current setup is computer is reading my ecus we're pulling down all the data and then we're going to analyze it and we're going to do a little custom tune on this one 
with all the specifics that I uh, I choose really, yeah, the tick boxes. What's interesting is, you, you know, you've had this tune now for all this time and actually it's the most basic thing they took model year 01 software and they just basically tickle the ignition timing a little bit and the uh, throttle pedal. That's it, nothing else. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's all you've had. I, I know I've been telling Trev for all these years. I love my setup on it, it's, it's amazing. Kind of so, um, <laughs> uh, apparently I'm gonna be in for a treat here, yeah. You, we start off with the, the last working 2005 software that they did, the yeah. and then we adjust it for all the differences. So what we do is, my software takes your original software as an input, yeah. and then it analyzes that, to, because there's so many differences in the software. Um, so wiring differences, sensor differences, and all this kind of stuff, and then it will it will generate, it will adjust the final version to work exactly on your spec of car. If you fit a sports exhaust to a 360, and loads of people do this, you should technically run custom software because then it drives better, yeah. right? Uh, I do that customization as well, and I can tailor it for the differences in back pressure and everything else, uh, and you'll get more performance out of that, and that's not overstressing the engine, it's just recalibration, you know? So even Ferrari knew this, so, yeah. so you know, that's why I say it's always better when you change anything, even a sports exhaust, to recalibrate. All right, so we finished the remapping last night and I was unable to give it a uh, test. It was a bit too late for my neighbors. So this is the bit. We're gonna find out just how good the remap is. Now, straight away, I notice that my dash, I've got no slow down light, which is a, a major bonus to start with. But let's take it out for a little drive and see just how good this is. I'm just having a steady drive for 10 minutes, which is gonna get the engine up to temperature and then we can probably test it now i am a little bit concerned because trevor's told me that this is going to absolutely transform the performance on this car and the roads it's been raining and in certain areas where we haven't had any sunshine it's still quite damp so uh let's take it a little bit easy let's see in my throttle response. Uh, the pedal feels a lot more linear. I've got a lot more control of the power, whereas before it was all or nothing. Everything was right up top of the pedal travel. Now I've got more control over that full pedal movement. All right, we've got a bit of open road. Let's see what this thing can do. Second gear. Ready?
learning its characteristics. Now, I'm going to have to relearn how to drive it. Literally, it is so different to what it was. Oh my god. So much power. So much power. And not much grip in these tyres left. Oh, I can smell that. Can you smell the rubber? Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Well guys, what can I say? That is an absolute transformation. I cannot believe with a simple software flash how vastly it's changed the characteristics of that standard 360. It's insane. All I can say is if you've got a 360, if you've got a 430, if you've got a 599 or any Ferrari, make sure you get in touch with my good buddy Trev because, well, you can see, you can hear the difference that has made to my 360 and the smile it puts on my face. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you uh, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video and, well, check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my socials. Until the next time, stay safe and ciao for now. I tell you what, if you're ever feeling a little bit low, a little bit depressed, you need a little pick-me-up, if you can afford it, get yourself a challenge for Dali because the noise this thing makes is absolutely epic. It'll put a smile on your face. It'll make you happy every single time you drive it. It has for 14 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs>